Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen. Right, so this little video is going to take you through how to do your names on this software we use at Senior Cycle in Technical Graphics. And we use it a tiny bit at Junior Cycle called SolidWorks. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to open it, right? So if you look on the computer, you have, look, these three options here. You've uh, a cube, all right, with SolidWorks on it, S and W. You've got a cube with white dots around it, and you've got a cube with a lightning bolt. Now, it doesn't matter if one computer is missing, we'll say, the cube with the lightning bolt. All of them will have this one here, and it's not that one. And you double-click that one, and it's going to take you in here. So you go, new, all right, you go, Art and press OK. So you're going to learn how to make your name in this video. And apologies for any background sound you may hear in it. Now, if you are struggling, all right, to hear the sound on your computer, what you can do is turn on the subtitles in YouTube. So you can. So if you're unsure of that, just ask me and I'll come down and help you. All right, so this is what's going to come up here now shortly. So my computer is a little bit slow. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this command here, sketch, and click sketch, and then click the front plane. Okay, and that's what happens there. Now, I'm gonna select uh, the text tool, that A there. I'm gonna type in, for me, I'm gonna type in uh, Mr. Connell Lowe's TG, but you guys, write in your names okay to make it bigger look you can press zoom to area and you can zoom up here now if you want to change the font you can untick use document font and press font here now just be aware that very squiggly fonts all right very squiggly fonts won't work so this one chiller here will work fine but if I scroll down and I find like that one there, that won't work so well because the font is too squiggly. All right, it's too complex. All right, so I might just try here with this chiller one. All right, and look, I can increase the size here if I want to six. That's a personal decision. Now, when I look at that, I d I'm not. E I doubt I'm going to even make it here. I'm just going to do this myself. Uh, you guys just watch me here. Just watch here now. So I'm just going to pause the video and see does it do it itself. So it's not going to work. And to be honest, I'm going to have to open this up. So basically, I've, I've re reverted to the normal text I had. So essentially, don't go in and change your text, all right? Because it, it just won't work on the computer. It's too complex. Right now, the key thing here is under the when you had this, what you call it, note bar up here. So I get it back up here. You must press the green tick button. You gotta press the green tick button. And we're gonna go features, extrude the boss base, and look what happens now. It goes yellow, and we can press OK. And just press OK. And now it's gone 3D. Okay, now we're going to learn how to change the color here on the computer. Okay, so if we press this button here, edit appearance with a pencil. Okay, so it's you notice there the one, uh, the beach ball with the chessboard is underneath it. You don't touch that one. It's this one you go to. So we go into that one, all right, and if you go advanced, uh, scroll down here under browse, okay, and go organic, uh, wood, you can go, like you have loads of different options and you just keep clicking through the folders until you get one so there's some wood i can go again pick a different wood so do loads of them do loads of them 
that one there. I, I still don't like that. Uh, this is one I really like under wood, uh, rosewood. And double click on them. No, that's I picked the wrong one. So you can do loads and loads and loads of them until you find one that you like. That's the one I like there. And there's your name. Now, you can hold down the rolly button of your mouse and spin your, what you call it, mouse round to um, get different views. Now, I will show you common problems that happen in this. All right, is if you students commonly uh, hold down a tab here by accident and drag this around the screen, they don't know what's happened. To change that, drag the command manager down there, slot it back up there. And there, control seven makes it 3D. Now also we can get other things like evaluate here. Uh, and look, we can go zebra stripes. Okay, or we can go curvature if you want. Okay, it gives it a nice funky look. So you can try that so you can. All right, so that's what you call our names made on the computer. So if you need any help, just call me and ask you, ask me, and I'll be down to help you. And you can practice it changing loads of colors. And actually, while I show you, if you hit the drop down arrow here, all right, just see, uh, yeah. Okay, manage favorites. Okay, that thing that came up there in the top left shouldn't came up here. You can pick like loads of different ones if you just highlight, uh, if I recall, some, some of your versions they should come up. But like, we'll say if I pick landscape image one, if I just click it and press okay, and then look, I go down here, landscape image one. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so don't save your work. You guys don't save your work. And you immediately X out of it. And watch here now how to shut down. So press don't save. Now watch here now how to shut down the computer. So you do not shut down a computer by just turning off the button you turned it on with. Look. You click the start button down, the start button down here. So for some computers, the window seven, they might be a circular one. And you guys, you either go to this one, or you select have an option here. I think it's either called power options or shut down options, and you go shut down. And that's so you click it and press shut down, and you do that. Oh, so obviously I'm, I'm not shutting down my computer because then I've got to lost my video. All right, cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye.